call, see you on TV, sunset done change. Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all. Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing. Now they always say congratulations. congratulations. Hey guys, what's up? It's Amber and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My voice just cracked so bad. Well, if you are new here, I usually don't sound like a 12 year old boy, but I'm sick, not fun. But today I'm filming the video you've all been wanting, a drunk get ready with me. So I don't know how drunk I'm really gonna get. I am gonna be drinking some champagne, some cheap ass champagne in honor of the new year. We're gonna just have some fun, do some makeup, even though it's currently 8.30 at night and I'm cringing at the thought of putting on a full face of makeup just to take it off. But you know what? Dedication to the YouTube. So I actually just posted like a few minutes ago on my Instagram story for people to give us some topics to discuss. So I will check back on that in a little bit and see what we're gonna talk about. But for now, let's pop this bottle and do some makeup. Also, I have some music playing in the background on my computer at like one volume because <laughs> copyright. It's literally just gonna be me for entertainment in this video. No music. Happy New Year, bitch. We are pouring the first glass. I guess I'm using a wine glass, not a champagne flute, because my parents barely have alcohol in the house, let alone the correct glasses to drink it out of, so. Cheers. Woo. I don't know if I should just like chug some of this bottle before I start or not. It's 8.30 right now. I'm gonna drink a couple glasses of wine and then we'll see what happens. Oh my God. Two glasses of wine down. <sighs> we about to be on the third. I think that means it's time to start this makeup. Oh my God, it hurts. So while I was busy getting tipsy, I opened a package from my BFF Lulu. It was in this big box here and it was a bunch of new makeup stuff. She got me a couple of inspiring books. She got me a whole load of face masks. I'm gonna be trying out some of the new stuff in this video. I'm very excited about it. So first I'm gonna be going in though with my micellar water and I'm gonna be taking off any makeup from the day. All I put on was my eyebrows and a little bit of bronzer and I just shoved a cake load of lip cake load, is that even a word? Lulu got me these new Marc Jacobs lip glosses. It is currently nine o'clock at night. We are about to pack some makeup on this face and hopefully it looks all right. And we're gonna be trying a bunch of new stuff. I know I had a lot of people, especially my girl Kyla, who loves Jeffree Star, asking when I was gonna do this bad baby, the blood sugar palette. Girl, we crack it into it tonight. I am so excited. All right, let's get started. That's probably the sign you should stop drinking when you uh, can't get it in your mouth. Now I'm gonna check back on Instagram. It's been a half hour. Let's see if we got any people asking us questions. Any beef with Kylie since your video about the pop-up shop? Oh my God. Of course, that would be the first topic. So I'm gonna go in and prime my face even though I'm gonna be wiping this off in literally probably 30 minutes when this video is over. But I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime. Love this primer, but I'm definitely moving on from it when I run out. I'm gonna try some new primers. I wanna expand my horizons. Also, for anyone watching this, as I keep drinking, we'll continually watch how I cannot form sentences because that's gonna happen. No, no beef with Kylie, I just, I don't know, it just sucked. Like, I should have known. I don't know. See, if you didn't watch the Kylie video, it was a whole big thing. I cried. It was real obnoxious. But I went all that way, not with any sort of expectations. Like, I literally just thought I was going to go shopping in her pop-up shop. I didn't expect to meet Kylie. I didn't expect to get any sort of, like, fun f treatment. Like, I literally had no expectations going into it other than she had a store opening. It was a pop-up shop, and I literally just wanted to go in and see it and shop and vlog, and I figured it would be fun. <coughs> Excuse me. No tea, no shade. Obviously, I still like Kylie. I buy her product. I buy the Kardashian products. There's literally, like, no beef, but... <coughs> Excuse me. But it just sucked how chaotic and unorganized it was because obviously you know she has a hundred million plus followers. She's gonna have tons of people, hundreds of thousands of people show up for a grand opening of a pop-up shop. I just wish it was more organized. Honestly, just as a customer, I wish that I got to go in, but instead I waited 12 hours and did not get to go in the store. Obnoxious. So that's literally all with that. Let's move on to foundation. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I freaking love 
love this foundation. And I've noticed recently, as you can probably see, like, I don't know, my skin has just been so irritated and like discolored lately. So I really want to cover that shit up, you know? I feel like I'm being so messy with this right now. And I usually mix two shades just because this one's a little tiny bit too pale for me and this one's way too tan for me. So I just throw a little bit of that in the mix. All right, let's blend this out. And while we blend it out, I'm gonna be playing some music because I can't sit here without music, especially since I'm drinking. Oh my God. Thought of something that we should talk about. So this weekend is my sister's birthday, which is really exciting, but my baby cousins are coming back to stay with us since it's their birthday and you know, it's just like an excuse for them to come up here. And a lot of you guys love Jack and Lorelai for my vlogs. So I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna get a video of Jack doing my makeup. I'm so excited. I haven't really tweeted about it yet. This is probably the first time I'll be talking about it, but I'm so excited. He's so cute and he's so smart and I just, I really wanna see what would happen if I asked him to do my makeup. So Lulu gave me this flash illuminator. I feel like I should have put it on before my makeup and I'm kind of upset that I didn't. So I am just gonna put it on real quick before I concealer. So I'm putting the tiniest, tiniest little bit on me and I'm just gonna put this on my high points and then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. So this is the Estee Lauder, the Estee Edit Flash Illuminator. And this is in the shade Morning Light, number two. And it just is gorgeous. I love how it's just like a very gold bronzy highlight, but not too crazy. I hope the lighting's okay too. This is like really trial and error right now with the whole lighting in this new room. What are we doing next? Next, I think we're gonna do concealer. <laughs> I know how to do makeup, hello. I'm gonna be putting this underneath my eyes, cover up all these dark circles and all of this stress and just life. I thought my dad was gonna come in. He would so make fun of me if he saw this. Good Lord. Oh look, we're almost done. Goals. <laughs> fun fact, I, oh wow. There's literally nothing left in there. Can you see that? That's embarrassing. Looks like I need to buy a new concealer, but um, fun fact, this is actually like the first and pretty much only concealer I've ever used. I have bought the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And other than that, I have I really don't think I've purchased like any other concealer ever. Wow, I am really feeling drunk, oh my God. I need to drink some water, BRB. Oh, water is so good. So now I'm gonna be using my baking powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I so apologize on behalf of my voice. You know what I sound like? And I say this every time I get sick, but you know that commercial with the f***ing Pinocchio boy? It's, I think it's an insurance commercial, but I literally sound like him. I really do. And it's not as bad today, but when I first get sick, I sound like this kid. You have potential. So I'm just gonna set my face with some loose powder. I really wanna do a really colorful eye look today just because I'm feeling really creative. It's gonna turn out like absolute trash, but <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I just got powder everywhere, literally all over my pants. Love that for me. I better not stain. I would do that, I'm such a walking disaster. Kyla asks, what happened to you and Chris. Let's address it, let's spill the tea. I mean, Bubba and I are literally the best friends ever. We have done so much together, he was awesome, but it's just on certain levels we just, I don't know, we just didn't work out and it sucks, it really does, but you know what, you're gonna learn that in life. Sometimes things just don't work out and honestly sometimes it's for the best. Maybe we'll find our way back to each other, I don't know, but there is no, like no one did anything wrong that caused us to split it's just life just wasn't working for us and we just had to move on for any friends and family who may have been wondering that's pretty much it i mean i'm not going to go into it any more than that because all the problems are kind of between us that's all i'm going to say on that just because i know i have a lot of people who watch every single week and who really care about me and love me and who have reached out to me and so that's that's pretty much it right there next topic of discussion oh my good lord wow we got a lot to talk about <laughs> anyway we should probably get back to makeup what the f was I doing? I literally don't know. Shopping therapy, that's a topic to discuss. I am in the market for a new bronzer. Bronzer and I have a very 
very spotty history because when I was a kid, I thought it was cool to put bronzer all over your face, not just in your hollows of your face, literally everywhere. And I had an orange face and you could see orange to white literally on my neck. So I just don't buy bronzer anymore. I literally only use contour colors like dark browns. But as you guys have noticed probably, I've been leaning towards the orangey shade more and literally just like using it as bronzer. Give my face a golden glow. Picking up bronzer gives me PTSD on the times I used to cake my face in bronzer. So if you have a good recommendation for a bronzer, please let me know. I hope you can't hear that music. I really don't want to get demonetized. Your girl's got bills to pay. Also, man, it is like exhausting being drunk. I just want to go to sleep. <coughs> God, it's so gross. I'm gonna be editing this and I'm gonna be like, girl, who the hell were you? Like, your voice sounds different. You are just dumb. That is what I'm gonna be thinking. My eyebrows are gonna be horrifying. I don't even think I can hold a pencil right now. Oh yeah, shopping therapy. That's what we're gonna talk about. So I am one who never wants to spend money on myself anymore. Ever since like living on my own, I've kind of just learned that like bills are very important. You need to pay your bills and worry about yourself second. That might not always be the best motto because there were times where I physically put myself through so much mental stress over bills, which ugh, I don't know. Do we really wanna talk about this right now? I just want you guys who are in high school, going into college or like in college about to be on your own. I've been through like real life stuff, you know? Obviously I've lived on my own. I have been to the point where I don't know, it just, money struggles are the worst and it seems like money is the root of all evil. We all know that. So the other day I went retail therapy shopping or I guess it wasn't the other day, it was like a whole week. I just literally bought everything I needed that I hadn't been buying like clothes, underwear, bras, like just things that I needed that I was neglecting to buy for myself because I had this thought in my head like, oh, well, you have bills to pay. You shouldn't be buying things for yourself. But you know what? If you work hard and you make money, you should be at least spending some of that money on yourself, you know? So I went and I bought a whole bunch of new clothes. I bought new shoes because I had literally the same pair of nasty white shoes that I was wearing that you guys have probably all saw in my vlogs. I wanted to just take care of myself for a moment and I feel like retail therapy is something that is so helpful. Sure, you don't wanna spend your whole freaking like month's salary on clothing or shoes, but every once in a while, like once a month or once a season, like when the season changes, just go shopping and like get yourself a new wardrobe and you can easily find clothing that is cheap. So it's not like you're spending your whole budget. Like I go shopping at Forever 21 and I'll get a bunch of basic pieces at like Forever 21 in Charlotte Russe. I'll invest in like a coat or a jean jacket or shoes and make that like the focal point of my outfit, you know? But don't be afraid to spoil yourself sometimes. I'm drunk, I shouldn't be giving life advice, <laughs> especially because I'm living back home with my parents and it's basically like I just got out of high school, so I shouldn't be giving anyone life advice. Also, my phone's gonna die, so that's lovely. Next topic is summer plans. Oh my God, I only have one thing planned this summer so far and it's so exciting. This summer, I am meeting the queen. <sighs> Ariana Grande. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I still physically can't believe it. And I know that it's gonna be literally 30 seconds of, oh my God, hi cutie, and then bye. And that's all it's gonna be. But I'm still just so excited to meet her. I already have my caption picked out for what I'm gonna caption the picture of her and I. And I'm gonna tell her so that way her and I can like choose a pose that fits the caption. You'll see. It'll all make sense very soon, my friend. I'm gonna be also seeing her in Boston. I'm gonna be meeting her in Miami and I'm gonna be seeing her show in Boston at the Garden. So I'm very excited. Oh, it's just, it's really what's getting me through life these days. Also, can we talk about her new album real quick? So her album, Thank You Next, is coming literally any day now. Like it could be coming this month. It just could be coming very soon. Okay, hold on. I gotta do my eyebrows real quick because I can't even like breathe while I do my eyebrows, let alone talk. All right, I'm not going too crazy with the brows because I really don't want to regret this tomorrow. I'm gonna be like, girl, you can't even upload this because your eyebrows look like f***ing blocks. All right, how do my eyebrows look? Because I'm a little scared. I feel like they look fine, but I've had days where I've thought, oh wow, my eyebrows look decent. And then I've gone in daylight and I was like, were we looking in the same mirror? I have been filming for a long time now and I've gotten pretty much nothing important done. Surprised? Not really, cause you know, I'm drunk. What's next?
I don't know. I don't really know what's next. Let's just dive into eyes because I feel like we've beat the face enough. So we are jumping into the blood sugar palette. I wanted this so bad. So shout out to Bubba. He did get this for me for Christmas. We still love, we still stand Bubba. I hope I'm in focus. Am I in focus? I just can't tell. The first one that pops out to me is root canal, mainly because I went into debt this year because of root canals and teeth. <sighs> so I think we're gonna have to use that color, but also I'm kind of scared to put a bright purple in my eye. Cavity, very familiar with those. Oh my God, it's so buttery and creamy and nice. Wow, what the hell? That's a drunk swatch if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Hi. Holy crap, that's dangerous. I should not be using a color like that tonight. There's gonna be pigment all over my eyelids. I'm just gonna wing it here because I've been winging this whole video thus far and hopefully it's been entertaining, but you know what? I won't know until I've wasted all this time filming and then wasted all the time editing and then decided mm, this didn't work out. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, I don't even know, honestly. I don't even know what color I wanna do first. I think I'm gonna go in with the color Ouch. It's this like, how would you describe that? It's honestly like really a diarrhea looking color, but it's like kinda cool. It's very pretty. Also, I feel so guilty. My best friend Kelly texted me tonight and was like, oh, do you wanna come bowling with me and Almond? And I was like, I'm actually getting drunk for a YouTube video. <laughs> And I felt real bad because bowling is so fun. Well, I suck at bowling, but it's really fun to suck at things sometimes. I'm sorry, Kelly, that I'm a shitty friend, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta get drunk for a YouTube video. Oh, now I'm so excited for Jack to do my makeup. The reason I'm even doing this video is because of one of my best friends, Ryan, and I tweeted, anyone have any questions they want featured in my drunk get ready with me? And he said, I can't think of shit, but thank you for doing this, LMAO. <laughs> So much for this being a colorful look. Starting off with this like diarrhea color, I don't think I could possibly make it colorful. This palette is so pretty. Also my feet hurt from trying to like sit on them. Oh, and my battery's dying. Oh, this video is turning out to be such a disaster. We're back and I found a pillow to sit on, so now it doesn't hurt as bad. I think I'm gonna put the color extraction in the outer corner because it looks like a fun time. It looks like a plummy purple color that looks very scary and like I probably shouldn't be touching right now. I wonder where my sisters are. I'm gonna call my sisters real quick. Hello. Hi, where are you? Hello. Oh, you're in your room? You're home? Yes. Oh, where's Maddie? In her room. Oh, okay. Hello. Wow, are you all sleeping? It's 9.30. I'm not asleep, I'm watching TV. Oh, well, do you wanna get drunk? Not really. <laughs> Damn. Now I think, cause I really just like don't know what else to do with my eyes. I think I'm gonna cut my crease. I've decided. Oh, I just got it where it wasn't supposed to go. It's not looking horrible, so there's that. I think I'm gonna go in with one of these bright ass pigmented shades, but let me just swatch them first. Donor, love that. Then we have Sweetener, which I wanna go for just because like Ariana Grande. Oh yeah, I still have that swatch on here. It's probably getting, yep, it's getting all over my sweatshirt. Love that. And I get water everywhere. So we are taking Sweetener. Wow, it's very pretty, oh my gosh. I can't believe it's only 9.30. I literally feel like it's midnight. I could pass out right now. Okay, so now that the shade sweetener is laid and slayed and looking gorgeous, we are gonna go in with a little tiny bit of that shade donor and I'm gonna put it just on my middle finger and I'm gonna kind of pat it right in the dead center of my eye. Wow, that is a whole gold ass moment going on. <laughs> now I'm just gonna take a blending brush and I'm gonna take the shade cake mix and it's just a nice like neutral shade and I'm just gonna kind of go in and blend wow holy crap like the pigment in these shadows are actually like kind of scary because I love a good bright inner corner I'm gonna be going in with the shade glucose it's a very white shade and we'll test how pigmented this white really is that shit is white and I feel like it kind of up the whole look to be honest. We gonna pretend like that didn't just f everything up? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna be taking this big fat brush and I'm gonna be taking the shade Glucose and putting that underneath my brow bone. We are almost done. 
Kinda. Probably not really. God, I'm dropping everything. I'm turning my phone case on. I'm just a damn mess. Oh, my friend Kelly entered a topic and said, how did you become such a goddess? Don't make me cry. But seriously, that is so sweet of her to say, honestly. But I'm not gonna lie, this year I feel like I've truly just found myself and kind of become confident in myself. And I don't know how, I really have no idea how, but it was kind of just like one day I started taking care of myself, taking care of my body, putting myself first and I just kind of have become happier and I want to spread the happiness with other people. Like I feel like I've finally come to a point where I like how I look with no makeup on and I love myself and I want to take care of myself. And just when other people comment like things like that, I just, I don't know, it just makes me really happy. So I love you, Kelly. Thank you, that's so sweet. All right, I think we're done with the champagne just because I don't want to die tonight. <laughs> So now we're gonna hydrate. I'm not gonna attempt liquid eyeliner because God, that would be just really stupid of me to try right now. I am gonna be going in. God, what is wrong with me? That was open and now it just got on my rug and it probably got on me. Oh my God, my life is a damn mess. Holy shit. So I'm gonna, oh my God, it's wet from when I got the water everywhere. I'm not even gonna try. We're going in with the shade Spooky, and I'm gonna attempt to make a winged liner out of black eyeshadow because black eyeshadow is a little less scary than liquid liner, but not by much. Can we do this? Probably not. Wow. I'm genuinely shocked that that looks halfway decent. Okay, work. Maybe I should get drunk and do my eyeliner more. So luckily, Lulu got me makeup remover wipes in my package. All right, that was easy. I'm gonna be taking that shade Ouch mixed with Cake Mix and I'm gonna be popping this in my lower lash line. I feel weird not putting on lashes, but I really think if I put on lashes right now, it would be a nightmare and I'm just kind of not really ready for that. Now I'm gonna go in with blush. May have went a little overboard, but <laughs> don't care. Now I'm gonna go in with highlighter. I'm bouncing all over the place with this freaking video. Face right here mixed with ring light right over here. I love these shades. Okay. Oh, actually I forgot about this. My friend Lulu got me this beautiful Urban Decay highlighter. It's in the shade Aura. It's oh, freaking pretty. Can you see the fallout though? There's like glitter everywhere. Oops, I got mascara on my mirror. Yay, mascara's done, and it doesn't look that bad. Like, I thought it was gonna look really bad without falsies, but this mascara is literally just, oh, it's heaven in a bottle. And I got mascara on me from blinking. Oh my God, why? So I just mixed the shade Candy Floss and Glucose and put it in my inner corner, and it's so pretty. Now, lastly, I think lastly, I can't even think straight, but I think lastly, I'm gonna be putting on my lips. And I'm gonna be using Posey K Lip Liner because I thought I grabbed Exposed, but apparently this is what I grabbed. So this is what I'm doing because bitch, I don't feel like getting up. Oh my God, I f***ed it up. <laughs> well, I warned you, my lips look botched, so. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think that is it. Now it is time for some setting spray. Actually, maybe I'll put on one of these liquid lips. Like it's a lip gloss, but it's in a lipstick. <gasps> God, you don't understand how much makeup is on my pants because I've dropped makeup all over my pants. Thank God this is almost over. That's really pretty. All right, I think we're done. Okay, I'm gonna put on setting spray and then we're gonna be done regardless of if I'm actually done. We are done. Thank God. I will give you guys a close up. We can examine if this even looks good. I'm kind of embarrassed to do a close up, but let's do it. The process of taking a selfie. Okay, 
I should probably shut the camera off now. <laughs>